Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager with Autodesk. For this showcase tips and tricks, I would like to bring some clarity with the various options available when publishing a movie out of showcase. When publishing a movie in showcase, you are faced with two options. You can either publish a shot or you can publish a slide. Now you might not know what are the difference in between shot and slides. This is what I like to clarify in these tips and tricks. Now this menu I have access from the task UI, but you can also access the publish movie from the file menu and that will bring you to the same location. We'll start to understand what happens if you publish a shot from the shot menu. So we'll open the shot menu of this showcase scene. And as you can see here, my shot menu is composed of various still shots as well as animated shots. So these are all the available shots available to be published from my scene. Now the still shots would be better candidates to output as images, where the animated shots are better candidates to be output as movies. Now keep in mind that when you publish a shot, the shot will be published visually as it appears in the viewport. So that means that if you have different alternative, which I have for this particular scene, the shot will be published using the current alternative has previewed in the viewport. So it is important before you publish a shot to set up the viewport with the alternative that you want as part of your shot. The shot will be using only the current alternative without having any option to load multiple alternative within that published shot. Once you're happy with the setup you have in your scene, you can click on the shot icon directly and choose the option to publish this shot as a movie. What will happen is that in the what to publish section, the camera anim01 or the shot that you have selected will be activated automatically and published as a single movie. Now let's look at the other create movie options in terms of shots. So the first one you have access is to publish all shots together. That means that all the shots that have been created under the shot menu will be published in one big movie with the current alternative as set in the viewport. Now this might not be an ideal situation as these shots have been created randomly and might not be coordinated in the way I want to tell my story. The other option is to publish all shots but in separate movies. Interesting option, but since my shot menu has a lot of still shots, I might not want to create a movie for all of these shots. So the next available option is to publish the selected shot all together in a movie. So this will give you access to a drop down menu where you can basically select which shot you want to be included in this large movie. This option starts to be interesting as you're starting to have a bit more control. And then again, you can choose to publish all the selected shot as a separate movie. You can think of this option almost as a batch render of multiple individual movies. And of course, you have the option to publish each individual shot by selecting them from the drop down menu. Now there is no difference if you select them from the publish menu or if you right click directly on the shot thumbnail and select the option save shot as a movie. And as you can witness, it gets automatically updated in the publish menu. So these are all the available options to publish a shot as a movie. And keep in mind that every time that you select to publish a shot, it will be published exactly as it's looking in the viewport with the selected alternatives. Now let's talk about publishing a slide. When we say publish a slide, we are referring to a storyboard slide. A storyboard slide is basically a combination of different elements, either alternative, shots, behavior and environment, into a coherent narrative for presentation. 
While using a storyboard slide or multiple storyboard slide, you can tell the story about your scene using alternative behavior shots and environment in a certain order. Now you still have the option to save a storyboard slide by clicking on the storyboard slide thumbnail or using the publish menu. Within the publish menu, you have access to similar option that we had for publishing a shot, which is to publish all slides together in one large movie. So for this particular case, it will create a movie for all four slides that I have available in my scene and will play them one after the other in one combined movie. The other option would be to publish all slides, but in separate movie. Then you have the option to publish all selected slide together in one movie. And then again, you'll have access to the drop down menu from which you can select which slide are being published. You can also publish all selected slide as separate movie, which if you think of it would be similar to a batch render of multiple movies. And then you can publish each individual slide by selecting them from the menu or by clicking on the slide thumbnail will equal to the same action. So most likely, if you're trying to tell a story that is using multiple alternative, some behavior, different environment, you will go and publish a storyboard slide from which you can combine these elements in a certain order. In rare cases, you might want to publish a shot, for example. And I'll give you a good example for publishing a shot. For example, if you want to use a specific visual style, you won't be able to save the visual style in a storyboard slide. So if you load the visual style in your viewport, you'll be able to output a shot while using this specific visual style. Because as you remember, the storyboard slide will be published as it is viewed in the viewport. So that gives you a good example of why you would want to publish a shot, for example. And by doing so, you can combine multiple shots later on in post-processing and tell a story while using various visual styles. So I hope this brings a bit more clarity in the difference of publishing a shot or a slide. So when we talk about slides, we talk about storyboard slide and telling a story. When we talk about shots, we're basically talking about camera movement that are saved in a shot.